Apologies for the late start here. We might have missed the first 35 seconds of the game. Michigan Tech did actually end up getting on the board first. I believe the name was Stewie who scored the first goal. So unluckily, we did miss that first goal. But Michigan Tech nonetheless up 1-0 against St. Clair. Trying to keep the winner's bracket run alive. And the Saints now trying to find the early answer. Yeah, you think with a name like Stewie, they'd be more inclined to play some football. But it's actually some merit soccer here on the pitch. <laughs> Christian old. actually going to be denied by Ski Boy there right at the start and yeah we really tater <laughs> really miss the the starting uh starting goal there coming in it's gonna be good kamal on the save trying to clear it out of this corner now especially ski boy's been on this ball a lot this game it both ends so far chicken tech you've taken the lead early now how long can you hold it is the question. Yeah, Saints might have a decent shot here, though. Christian actually is going to bob and weave through the defenders, is going to find the equalizer. So fantastic job. It looks like Christian's third shot of the game already as well. So great job. That nice little move over the defender finds that second touch. No mistake about it. And now the Saints are going to get right back on the board there. That is exactly what you were looking for. Yeah, that's exactly what you need to keep yourself in this game, especially off such an old early goal from Michigan Tech there, but don't find a roller like that. Uh -huh. It's gonna be saved by Christian. Great attempt from Tater though. I like that he just let that one soar when he saw, you know, it could be possible. Yeah, now Quinn is gonna play this one toward the net. Got a lot of boosts to mess with. Not gonna find that second touch though. Tater gonna be there for the play. Kamal is gonna win the 50 though. Back toward the side of Michigan Tech's net. Now Quint. A little bit of boost. Going to try to make a play here. Going to give up on that shot, though, realizing probably not going to get it through three defenders. Now Kamal on the defensive end. Second touch there by Stewie. Very good job to get that shot off. Going to be chipped away by Quint now. Now Ski Boy. Once again, trying to play this one at the midfield line. Trying to set it up for a teammate. Very dangerous pass, but luckily, no harm, no foul for MTU for just the time being. And both teams now still trying to break this deadlock. Yeah, Christian and Kamal. Quick rotation back for those saves. As it's already back to MTU's end. And... Some offensive opportunity here from St. Clair could be possible. Quint keeping this ball alive for the Saints right now, but it's Ski Boy once again always on that ball this game. Yeah, Ski Boy is all over the pitch right now, finding whether, yeah, the blocks, finding the setups in the corners, doing a very good job, just making his presence known all over the pitch. Stewie gonna take the disguise. Come on, try to play the 50 there, gonna go back toward the Saints end. Looks like Christian there. Play that one back toward the MTU net. Ball once again back toward the Saints end. So a little bit of tennis back and forth here. Both teams trying to find an opening in the defense. Tater going to get possession. Saints back the other way, though. Going to be denied by Ski Boy. Decent little shot. Not a lot of speed on it, though. Now Quinton Christian lining this one up. Trying to maybe set something up. Kamal waiting on the left side here. Going to be played up to the corner. MTU still with possession. This could be a shot for the Saints. Quint, decent crack of the net, but going to be denied. Second touch. Almost an own goal. Second one off the crossbar. Ball not going to find home. So we are still deadlocked at once. We only have a buck 20 to play. Yeah, I mean... After such, after such an explosive start from MTU, you know, you think they'd have found that opening in the Saints defense to be able to get this ball rolling here, no pun intended, but... You meant it. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> meant it. Don't worry. Come on. But Kamal, it's been Kamal and Christian pretty well on the defense this game to really shut them down after that initial goal. Now Christian, can you make an aerial play started? No teammate there to catch it back up. Christian finds a demo, though. Could get something started. Kamal coming in high. The double touch comes in. Oh. Bouncing right over Tater. Back to Christian in the corner. I'm ready to see Quint come flying in yep. <laughs> from the middle there. But he's actually just going to be keeping it in that corner. And wow, solid defense from Michigan Tech right now. So many opportunities from the Saints. But it's been Ski Boy throwing his body yep. <laughs> into that ball every single time. And Ski Boy, you notice, never has boost available, and it's not because he's not using it. It's <laughs> exactly. because he's everywhere on <laughs> the field at once. Meanwhile, see a lot of these other players, they opt to just really save the boost, but when oh. you've got one player just basically playing, like, annoyance, yeah. you know, you're playing just complete contestion, it's been working out so far for MTU here. Yeah, MTU going to get a couple cracks at the net there. The Saints going to send this one back, and we are already this game. I know we missed 25 seconds, but feels like it absolutely flew by. We are already going to be about to head into overtime. Saints, maybe one more shot here, Quint. Not going to find the mark there. Oh. <laughs> going to go blasting off into the sunset. So now, once again, the Saints, they're familiar with overtime. We've already been here today. They will try to take game one here of this best of three at MTU. Going to try to break the side, break the tie on the other side. Yeah, Kamal 
Trying to get it started here, but once again, it's Ski Boy on the ball. Nice pass there. Stewie comes in to get something started. Tater, roller to the net. It's gonna be caught by Kamal. Back down the sideline as a demo comes through as well. But it's Stewie and I believe that was Ski Boy in there. Just getting all this offensive pressure, really making that demo pretty well useless in the grand scheme of things. Coming in high pass from Quint. Able to go to Kamal. Not just yet, but still in MTU zone here. Kamal going to try to find the play here off the crossbar. Not going to quite find the mark. Now Quint back to midfield to pick up the pieces here. Going to send it back to this MTU end. Not a lot of boost to play with, so maybe going to try to find some kind of contest here. Going to give up on it. Let Kamal come and take it instead. Kamal going to get denied there. Now Christian going to cycle that one back into the corner. MTU trying to get this one out of their zone. Knowing in overtime, all it takes is that golden goal. And you could be off to game two, having to be in that reverse sweep situation, which... No team wants to be in, especially when you're this close to kind of finishing out the winner's bracket. Only one or two more matches to win, and you can complete your winner's bracket run here and ha not have to worry about the loser's bracket gauntlet going down there and playing a lot of games. So both teams really want to have this game. It's been a really, really strong back and forth. Demo, shot, saves, all the like, but still trying to find this goal to open things up. Christian, beautiful individual effort. Going to skirt to the side and send that one top corner, and the Saints are going to take game one in overtime. Yeah, Quint on the pass there, and it's bar down from Christian to take game one. And so far, Saints not dropping a game here today in CCA Open all the way into quarterfinals. They're keeping that trend going. Yep. Look at the shot counter. Just one more wow. from the Saints, and that one more was the turning point there. Yeah, wow. I mean, that score sheet says a lot about how the game went. Only one shot difference, I think a one save difference. Mm -hmm. You pretty much see, we saw the back and forth the entire game, both teams trying to break through. MTU, they got off to such a hot start, we couldn't even catch up on stream, but luckily yeah. the Saints came back, battled back, found the equalizer, find the clutch goal in overtime, and now this is a massive game for both sides. Could be the lower bracket for MTU, or the winner's bracket run could be continuing for one of these teams, the Saints trying to yet, as you said, close out another sweep. Ski Boy already, he was just there. He was the one who cleared it into the Saints <laughs> zone there. And by the time it's back on the other side, Ski Boy's there, ready on the defense. It's weird, yeah, because you see Stewie and Tater, they've been pretty much the offensive players here from Michigan Tech. And then Ski Boy is just playing straight contestion, straight, you know, just challenge the ball every single chance you get. Just chase, chase, chase. And... It's worked out pretty well for Michigan Tech. They did end up dropping it in overtime there, but such a close, close game. I mean, you oh. can't deny their strategy's working, and Sui trying to send one in from the right side there, but it's Quint on the save, taking it up the sideline. Challenge from Tater, bent it high towards Kamal. Kamal trying to make an aerial play work here. The reset, not good enough, as it's just gonna be challenged once again in the corner. Yeah, and their defense for both sides. The Saints all day today, now MTU as well. The defense has been, like, spectacular. And even that goal in overtime that Christian scored, that's just a great player making a great play. There's not a ton MTU could have done. They're trying to make a really tough read on the goal line, and Christian just able to make that extra read, make that good play. And the Saints now trying to get on the get in the lead early in this game once more. Minute and a half, not a lot of action. Both teams, though, trying to press the action, trying to find that goal and break through the ceiling here. Kamal going to find that touch over the net. It's going to get a small bump at the goal line. It's going to steal that boost as well. So good little play. Second touch. Quinn flying from the sky is going to bury that one. Kamal and Quinn going to be there for the link. And now the Saints going to get that one goal lead they were looking for. That backflip pass from Kamal. Yeah. All the finesse you need. Like, And those are the plays that always, always seem to work out from the Saints. It really, honestly, sometimes it baffles me when they go for the solo plays. Yeah. Because you've seen how easy it is for them to just drop the ball out of the air and yeah. the way it just soars down to that second teammate who comes in for that cleanup for the one-timer there christian finding number two off of kamal look at this setup right here right off the corner that's down textbook for christian yeah. textbook rocket textbook. league right here this is rocket league oh, okay i mean we went, <laughs> we went months without one of those i did my best to keep that one off the i broadcast. had to bring it back but that was fundy not joven everybody heard it the saints if the saints somehow blow this game blame fundy they are sitting with a comfortable 2-0 lead, though, obviously against a team like MTU this far into the winner's bracket. Nothing is to be taken lightly, not to be messed around with the Saints. Got to keep trying to add on to this total. Kamal, second touch, Quint. They're going to be a little two-man game in front of the net here. The Saints might be able to bury this one, and they actually will. Christian going to find, I believe, it's a second of the game there. For two. So Christian, beautiful job in that one. Look at just a slow roller, Quint. 
finding just enough touches there, Kamal being on the setup for the hockey assist, and Christian, exactly what the Saints were looking for, and now they're going to have a 3 nothing lead in Game 2. Yeah, just completely different game from that first one, and it seems we've actually got a quick update here. Little little miscommunication, but it is actually best of five. Yeah, I just noticed that, yeah. In. Yeah, so assumed it was actually next round when that started, but it is going to be winner of quarters here, so. Listen, I never said I was smart. <laughs> listen, listen, I never said I could count, Exactly. Okay? I just, I can call the ball bouncing <laughs> from side to side. Yeah, exactly. It's actually to be there on the defense, Christian, to save it. Christian, now two for two in this game, shots and goals. Everyone he tries going to be landing. Now, Saints... Saints have a big enough lead built up to be able to just play, yeah, you know, clear, clear chase, clear chase, yep. and just continue the pattern there, really. Don't got to change up the formula too, too much when you're just trying to play time at this point. Two minutes left. Kind of sit back and just play that defense. Yeah, dump and chase in hockey and soccer, a strategy as old as time. The clock is on your side. Absolutely try to use that thing. The Saints, though. They want to maybe look for another goal here. They're going to send this one into the long corner. Now Ski Boy here to try to make a play. Going to go to that left or that right wall, rather. Not going to have any boost to mess with, though. It'll be Tater waiting underneath. Not going to get there in time. Quint, second touch. Kamal finds a demo. Quint just trying to keep this ball. And going to be Christian on the follow there. Ball. Green's right in front of the MTU net. They are going to clear this one out, though. Kamal right there again for that play. The Saints just trying to keep this one even from going in their half of the field right now. Second touch might come through, but Quint going to kick that one off of the crossbar. Going to waste about another 10, 15 seconds here for the Saints, and they're starting to feel pretty good about this game too, but obviously things not quite over just yet. Great shots from MTU in this past 30 seconds here, but a lot of them haven't really had the velocity to make it in there. They've all just kind of been slowly floating into that net, and it's given the Saints defense just too much time to set it up. Quint, too much time on the rotation yep. for those saves, and now a minute left in the game. Game two, all but close out here. Saints just got to play some more defense, stall some more time, clear the ball into that corner, chase it out, Kamal. Actually going to be set up here. Wow. No goal good as it's Tater who's on the demo there for Quint. MTU cannot breathe right now. The Saints are mm. all down their neck right now, not letting them even get out of their zone right now. And that's exactly how you have to play a three-goal lead. Run the clock. Make it so MTU can't even go on the counterattack, can't really start that breakout. They are going to get a shot on net, not going to find that second touch. Kamal waiting in the perfect position to shut that one down. Tater waiting at midfield there, got a lot of boost to play with, maybe trying to make some kind of play here. Once again, the contest comes through the Saints. Find the second touch, just going to try to kill the clock here. You can see deliberately to the Saints just popping that ball up as high in the sky as possible, trying to drain five, six seconds per hit. Now down to single digit seconds left in game two and the Saints in much more convincing fashion than game one will walk away with a game two win. Although it will be 3-1. However, they will still win the game. Ski Boy coming in at the end. You know, making it at least you don't take the shutout yep. from that one. Especially, you know, that's going to be a bit of a mental destroyer though after game <laughs> one there. I mean, it's such a close, close game one and then... Coming into the end of this, you're down three for so, so yep. long, and you're just playing on the back foot the whole game. You know, now you're put into this reverse sweep situation. The pressure is really, really on here yep. for Michigan Tech. And as for the Saints, you're only one game away from moving on to winner semis there and finding your way, getting your chance at that top eight for tomorrow. You want to make day two. That's always the goal here. Yep. And right now, Saints... Very low shot game, actually. No. Six shots from the Saints. Gonna have a 50% goal percentage there off of shots. Yep. Yeah, both shots. I think, that, yeah, it was six shots apiece for either mm -hmm. side there. So really strong back and forth. And say, I think we're getting a quick little lobby reset. So I think it still is the best of five. Just got to get everybody either back in the mm -hmm. lobby, maybe swapping sides or something like that. So great job from the Saints so far. Let's, I guess we'll do a little recap of the day so far while we have a second here. Defeated University of New Brunswick by forfeit in round one. So mm -hmm. technically, I think that'll be counted as a 2-0 if aggregate score ends up mattering. Then they win their second series against... I'm already slipping. We played, we've played. seen too many games already. Not the Citroen. It was UCF before that, the day before UC that. Uh... Indiana. Indiana. Indi Indi IU Crimson. Crimson. That's what it was. Yeah, IU Crimson. However, forget all that. We are back into game. Game three here. The Saints trying to close out this sweep. Move one step further to qualifying for tomorrow in that top eight bracket. And MTU in reverse sweep situation. The world on their shoulders trying to make this one back. Yeah, uh, Tater with the demo there. He's been solid on those demos. I feel like every time it's a demo from MTU, it is Tater on that one. So... 
We've got <laughs> we've got Ski Boy, you know, the straight contestion player. We've got Stewie trying to make those solo plays, trying to find those shots on net. And then Tater oh, coming tater. in to round out the team <laughs> with the demos. Tater's there, like you've the, got the big three Burnley players henchmen. here. Can they make the reverse sweep happen, though? Four minutes of Rocket League left wow. to play. And Christian, I mean... That didn't look like it was going anywhere. And then all of a sudden, into the net. Quince, what? beautiful <laughs> pass, Christian. That passing play kind of came out of nowhere, but nonetheless, it was picture perfect. And once again, the Saints not wasting any time. They want to jump out to this early lead because the way they pressured MTU last game, I think they realized that they can get a two to maybe three goal lead, try to get that maybe even earlier in the game. They did a great job playing possession. Quint and Kamal trying to find yet another goal. Now Quint there for the second touch in front of the MTU zone here. Tater going to be there for the pickup though. Going to try to make a play on this one. Quint going to steal that one away in the corner. Now it'll be Stewie having to follow. Going to get that full boost. Going to get the first dodge as well. Play this one toward the Saint zone. Is going to get taken off the car there. Ski Boy trying to find the shot there. Pass across. Not going to go through. Saint still going to be at one up. Ah, uh, Quint taking it high from the middle there. But Christian not there for the pass once again. Trying to make a similar play to last time happen. There it is. Ski Boy. First demo from him this game. Not going to be Tater in that feed there. Christian taking it over towards the right, but there, just the one player back up from the demo. Kamal now coming in, but just a lot of corner plays here from the Saints, and not a lot of more goal opportunities, really. I mean, that last one came out of nowhere to yeah. begin with, and now we're kind of back to this, this close, calculated game that both these teams have been wow. playing. Wow. There's no, no way. way that goes in. Oh, Kamal somehow going to bury it from way back there. Kamal playing it off the ceiling, just trying to clear it out of the zone. And the double touch off of the back of the Michigan Tech member will bury that one home in the Saints. That's a weird way to get a second goal, but absolutely one that you will take to the bank. And now three minutes and nine seconds left to try to kill to end this series off. So not only did I, you know, I already talked about how being in that reverse sweep can be a mental destroyer sometimes and Tater the save from Quint, just every opportunity being shut down, and now the two goals that have been scored on you have been just complete out of the blue, like... The second one especially. And in. Yeah, the second one was just... Wow. That's just one of those things that, you know, when it happens, it happens, and yep. when you're the Saints, you take those. Kamal getting his body in front of the ball there, taking it high, just great air dribbling here. Stalling so, so much time. I mean, you've seen 15 seconds yep. already taken off the clock just from Saints kind of holding the ball with them there in the air. Yeah. Gator trying to get something started in the corner here, not going to be able to drop it back down to a teammate. Stewie to send it towards the middle, but Quint's just there in the corner. It's just back and forth ping pong in the corner right now between Stewie and Quint. Ski Boy and some touch on the ball there, but oh, beautiful. not enough to get anything started. Oh. And there's the breakaway. Oh. Oh. A little bit of a little bit of BM from Quinton Christian. Not sure which one wanted to pick up the goal there. Saints nonetheless gonna find that third goal. Christian and Quint looking like the ending of Fast Five splitting <laughs> off on the road there. They are gonna find that goal though. Two minutes to play. Michigan Tech gonna be feeling the heat now. And that's what, that was the trouble with that second goal especially. There's not really anything they could have done differently to prevent that goal, and you still have all the pressure of trying to come back on your hands, having the reverse sweep looming over you like a dark cloud. No the way. The Saints trying to add one more Quint, almost way, trying to put a fourth one in, and they are still pressuring though. The Saints, they're realizing, hey, if we just keep this ball in the zone once again, there's pretty much no way we can blow this lead. However, MTU, they do have time and they do have some space to operate now. And they are going to find a goal. Stewie going to get that one back fast. So exactly what they needed to keep this one in check. I didn't realize there's a little like water drop sound all yep. of that goal. It's like a, like a <laughs> bloop. Yeah. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> it's perfect, actually. And there's the first one from Michigan Tech. Minute 30 left in this game. Definitely not out just yet, but with how solid offense Saints have been playing. Double demo from Stewie coming out though. That's gonna give him some time to make something to work. Stewie, oh, oh my goodness. There it is. Oh, don't There's look the now. passing play. That was in what, 18 seconds off of the kickoff. Wow. They're able to find that. Now you're only one goal away, one minute 25 left. Saints definitely don't wanna blow this lead in game three here, especially when you've got that 3-0 on the horizon and you're only a minute 20 away. Don't let any of more of these goals in. Yeah. Gotta play that solid defense. 
maybe even find another one of your own. Although, you know, still a lot of these goals have just been straight out of the blue. Or off the crossbar. Oh. Not going to be good. Did not break that plane on the goal line. Now, Quint, you want to run back that shot, don't you? No boost. <laughs> try, try and make it happen, but Ski Boy there. I think first time I've seen him with 100 boosts all game. <laughs> Stewie, yeah. though, took this personally earlier. Found the goal. Found the double demo. I believe he got both and set up the passing play for that second goal. So MTU realizing now they have to strike while the iron is hot. They are now running once again running out of time. Those two goals, they were amazing. It gives them a chance to get back in this one, but still one more hurdle to get over. They are going to find a demo, trying to find some space. Christian, first man to the ball. Beautiful job to clear that one out, try to kill some time. Is going to find the demo on Ski Boy. Ball toward the net, and Kamal's going to be uh, ah, going to be the goal scorer somehow, some way. Absolute I want to see exactly here. how just this played this. out. Yeah. Oh, just a demo in the roll. Nice and simple from the Saints, and that should more than likely be the dagger, all things considered, and looks more than likely like we will have another sweep on our hands. Yeah, Saints not ready to drop a game just yet today. Trying to come back, you know, they felt bad about those CRL calls, so yep. they're coming back here into CCA swinging. Oh. <laughs> Don't get me wrong though, Stewie is not done just yet. He's still gonna get those great shot opportunities on net, but the Saints defense just too solid right now at the end of this game. Kamal trying to make another goal happen from the end, and that is going to be the game there. That's going to be the series there. Saints moving on to winner's semis. You've got one more best of five to play. You take that, Saints, and you're all the way into day two. You've made it to top eight. You're going to find Why yourself finish it? with a very real chance of making it to that CRL last chance qualifier. Yeah, they're doing a very, very good job the entire day. The defense has been on point. A couple of the goals, honestly, were either good goals by the other team or maybe a small mistake, but one that they found a way to correct nonetheless. They've done a fantastic job so far, and I'm not sure exactly. We, had, we knew up to this point, but I'm not sure exactly who they're going to play in this last one. I know Valley Field was kicking around somewhere up top. Not sure if they ended up making it through. If Maybe, like we said earlier, one of these other CCA schools sneaks up out of the woodwork, pulls up on CCA Saturday, and tries to put in some work there. So we are going to send it over quickly to the bracket now, and we are going to see how things shake out. And it looks like Valleyfield actually fell earlier at the top of the bracket. So it's going to be Northeastern, who I believe we have played before, if I'm not mistaken, at least in other titles, maybe not the Rocket League. I think mm -hmm. they're a very good squad as well. I mean, I'm sure any squad that's up here, I'm sure very, very talented. And then Rowan University, who I don't believe I'm too familiar with, but honestly, the shocker of the day, Valleyfield falling that early, even though all these teams are very qualified and very good. Man, this is going to be a very interesting end of this bracket one way or the other. Yeah, and if you look as well, Rowan University, similar to the Saints, you know, almost have that flawless record in the day, did drop one game there in round two. But both of these teams, both Northeastern and Rowan, look like they're coming in pretty strong into this quarterfinal. So either of these teams is oh, definitely going to be a yep. game to <laughs> oh, watch. Man. I mean... We've seen close games. We haven't seen a close series yep. just yet, which is something I want to see coming into winter yep. semis here. And while we wait for the winner of the Rowan University series, we will throw it to a very, very quick break. But CCA, potentially the last series of the day for the Saints if they can win this one out. Drama will unfold after the break. Corner now. Especially, Ski Boy has been on this ball a lot this game. In both ends so far. Michigan Tech. Taking the lead early now. How long can you hold it is the question. Yeah, Saints might have a decent shot here though. Christian actually is going to bob and weave to the defenders. Is going to find the equalizer. So fantastic job. It looks like Christian's third shot of the game already as well. So great job. That nice little move over the defender. Finds that second touch. No mistake about it. And now the Saints can bracket run here. And not have to worry about the loser's bracket. Gauntlet going down there and playing a lot of games. So both teams really want to have this game. It's been a really, really strong back and forth demo. Shot saves all the like, but still trying to find this goal to open things up. Christian, beautiful individual effort. Going to skirt to the side and send that one top corner. And the Saints are going to take game one in overtime. Yeah, Quint on the pass there. And Ooh. far down from Christian to take game one. That good play in the Saints. Now trying to get, on the, get in the lead early in this game once more. A minute and a half, not a lot of action. Both teams, though. Trying to press the action, trying to find that goal and break through the ceiling here. Kamal, going to find that touch over the net. It's going to get a small bump at the goal line. It's going to steal that boost as well. So, good little play. Second touch, Quinn flying from the sky. is going to bury that one. Kamal and Quinn 
gonna be there for the link and now the saints gonna get that one goal lead they were looking for that backflip pass from kamal yeah. all the finesse you need like and those are the plays that solo plays yeah. because you've seen how easy it is for them to just drop the ball out of the air and yeah. the way it just soars down to that second teammate who comes in for that cleanup for the one timer there christian finding number two off of kamal look at this setup right here right off the corner that's down textbook. For christian Textbook Rocket textbook. League right here. This is Rocket League. Oh, okay, I mean, we went, we went months without one of those. I did my best to keep that one off the podcast. I had to bring it back. <laughs> Sitting with a comfortable 2-0 lead, though, obviously against a team like MTU. This far into the winner's bracket, nothing is to be taken lightly. Not to be messed around with the Saints. Gotta keep trying to add on to this total. Come on. Second touch, Quinn. They're going to be a little two-man game in front of the net here. The Saints might be able to bury this one, and they actually will. Christian going to find, I believe, it's a second of the game there. For two. So Christian, beautiful job in that one. Look at just a slow roller, Quint, finding just enough touches there. Kamal being on the setup for the hockey assist, and Christian, exactly what the Saints were looking for. Straight contested player. We've got Stewie trying to make those solo plays, trying to find those shots on net, and then Tater oh, coming Tater. in to round out the team <laughs> with the demos. Like you've the, got the your three really players henchmen. here. <laughs> Can they make the reverse sweep happen, though? Four minutes of Rocket League left wow. to play. And Christian, I mean... That didn't look like it was going anywhere. And then all of a sudden, into the net. Quint, what? beautiful <laughs> pass, Christian. That passing play kind of came out of nowhere. But nonetheless, it was picture perfect. And coming in, but just a lot of corner plays here from the Saints. And not a lot of more goal opportunities, really. I mean, that last one came out of nowhere to yeah. begin with. And now we're kind of back to this close calculated game that both these teams have been wow. playing. Wow, there's no, no way. way that goes in. Oh, Kamal somehow gonna bury it from way back there. Kamal playing it off the ceiling, just trying to clear it out of the zone and the double touch off of the back of the Michigan Tech member will bury that one home in the Saints. That's Minute 30 left in this game, definitely not out just yet, but with how solid offense oh, oh, oh. the Saints have been playing. Double demo from Stewie coming out though. That's gonna give him some time to make something to work. Stewie, oh, oh my goodness. There it is. Oh, don't There's look the now. passing play. That was in what, 18 seconds off of the kickoff. Wow. They're able to find that. Now you're only one goal away. One minute, 25 left, Saints. They have to strike while the iron is hot. They are now running, once again, running out of time. Those two goals, they were amazing. It gives them a chance to get back in this one, but still one more hurdle to get over. They are going to find a demo, try to find some space. Christian, first man to the ball. Beautiful job to clear that one out, try to kill some time. Is going to find the demo on Ski Boy. Ball toward the net, and Kamal's going to get a be, uh, ah, going to be the goal scorer somehow, some way. I want to see exactly here. how this just played out. It. Yeah. Oh, just a demo in the roll. Nice and simple from the Saints, and that should more than likely be the demo.